You're probably wondering what all this snake and mongoose talk is about, right? You take the yellow car, I'll take the blue. I'll explain along the way. You've heard of Don Prudhomme and Tom McEwen, right? They were famous NHRA drag racers in the 70s who had a friendly rivalry going on for years. Don was a four-time National Hot Rod Association champ and motorsport Hall of Famer. He was nicknamed The Snake. And Tom McEwen was another dragster who won the NHRA US Nationals. They called him The Mongoose. They were both well-established racers in their own right. As the two of them competed in the US Nationals over the years, they crossed paths numerous times, which sparked a friendly rivalry between them. Mattel proposed to make a series of toys based on the rivalry between The Snake and The Mongoose. The Hot Wheels sponsorship led to all kinds of drag-themed stuff. Hot Wheels came out with all kinds of new lines back then. You had sets like the Rod Runner and the Big Belter, which launched cars with rubber bands. The Big Belter could even detect jump starts, which is pretty cool, right? These were a smash hit and propelled both Hot Wheels and drag racing to greater levels of fame. Heavyweights were designed to go faster on gravity drops and Sizzlers had little battery-powered motors so you didn't need a launcher. like tampo printed patterns on the cars, which no one else was doing. Then you had the Hot Wheels Collector's Club Kit, where you could mail in to get either the Boss House, Heavy Chevy, or King Cuda, all with open hoods, big supercharger blowers, and silver paint jobs. Oh, so cool. Wish I'd been around back then. has given me an idea. The cars in the original Snake vs. Mongoose set were powered by rubber bands. These ones, well, aren't. How about you and I test them in a drag race? Bring it on, Haley. Let's go. Obviously let you in though. Who else am I gonna give the keys to the Rip Rod?